Welcome, on Torri, Elodie eta Jean-Pierre. Eh, agian, lehenengo gauza, aurkeztu dezakezu epizka bat zuen burua, nortzuk zareten, zer ikasten duzuen. Adibez, hasi Elodie eta gero Jean-Pierre, mesez? Kaixo, yeah, I can start. Kaixo, my name is Elodie Lyons. Um, I am studying communication here at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Um, I'm here today because um, a big part of who I am is being Basque, um, specifically French Basque on my mother's side. Um, she moved here to the United States about 20 years ago from the um, La Purvi province, mm -hmm. um, Bayon, Bayona. Um, and I still go back every year. Um, and when I learned that UC Santa Barbara offered courses on Basque culture and language, it was an extreme surprise because most of the time when I tell people that I am Basque, they have no idea what that is. So to see um, such an important part of who I am being taught here was of extreme excitement for me. Um, and I knew I immediately had to partake in it um, so that I could learn more about myself um, and about my culture because in France, it's very much more different than it is in Spain. Um, and a lot of us aren't as connected to our culture out there um, because of the government and the rules that are put in place. So I'm very happy to be here today and to be representing my family and my culture. Thank you. Eta joe mi esker oso interesgarria ere zure familiaren bak background hori eta Jean, e, Jean Pierre zure kasuan ere badituzu Euskal Herriko e, erroak edo oinarriak, ez? I certainly do. Kaixo uh, deneri ni Jean Pierre Echeverri nice. Uh, I also have a family from the Basque country. I have family coming from both sides of the border, uh, French Basque and Spanish Basque. My grandparents and great grandparents were from the Basque country. I'm a student here at UCLA in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also had found out I had the opportunity to take the Basque language and culture as a class. And I thought I can't pass up the opportunity to study my own language and culture and my heritage. Uh, at, while I'm going to college. So I thought it was an extraordinary opportunity to be able to do that. So I definitely jumped at the opportunity. Uh, it's very exciting to be able to learn uh, about Basque at you know such fine universities. My sister went to UC Santa Barbara. She took the same courses there. She had a great time in those courses, which also inspired me to take these courses here. And so I'm very happy to learn more about our tremendous culture and celebrate uh, what our culture brings and upkeep the importance of the language and the cultural system. And so it's very exciting to be here with all of you and very excited for this event. Oh, joe, pues, eh, ikusten duzuen bezala, eh, oso gonbidatu bereziak ditugu. Ze proposatu zigutenean eh, solasaldi hau edo solasaldi hauek ze iru bloketan eta iru sektoretan zentratuko gara gaurkoan, izan zen, wow, e, nolakoa da Euskalduna izatea Euskal Herrian egon gabe. Eta kasu honetan iruditzen zait, bai Jean Pierre eta Elodi zuen kasuan, oso interesgarria litzatekela ezagutzea nola den bapatean Euskal Herrian egon gabe, e, ba, zuen kasuan estatu batuetan, Euskara ikasteko aukera izatea, elodik, e, elodik zutxa ipatu duzu, joe, izan zela, ba, pixkat zure, zure familia, ez, nondik andatorren zure lagunei ere azaltzeko beste, beste modu bat, eta ez dakit nola izan zen momentu hori ikusten duzuela, e, badut aukera Euskara eta Euskal ikasketak, Euskara eta Euskal kultura, e, ikasteko aukera eta nola da horretan astea Euskal Herrian egon gabe? Um, what I felt when I first learned that this was being offered at this university was surprise um, because like I mentioned when I tell people for the longest time I told people that 
I, yes, I am French. And that's what I would tell people that I am French. And when people would ask me where specifically my family was from, I would say the Basque country. And outside of Paris and maybe Versailles, nobody knows what that place is unless they're very avid travelers or fans of the country. So when I saw that this course was being offered here, I was extremely surprised because, like I said, not many people know about it unless they know the country very well. Um, and it's just the ability to be in this class and learn so much about this culture has been really amazing. I feel like I'm being connected back to a piece of myself that I didn't even know existed, but in the back of my brain, I can't help but think about how happy my ancestors mm. must be mm. because um, with, with the diaspora and the spread of the Basque culture, we kind of got spread everywhere. So um, the ability to take this course makes me really happy and knowing that it was offered was really amazing because I feel like I'm connecting to who I really am and learning even more about myself through this course. Eh, gauza bat neri interesatzen zaidana da em e, askotan distantziarekin e, ez dugu e, ez dugu agian ondo ezagutzen e, pues herri bat edo horrelako zerbait, ez? Eta neri kurisia bizi den goza bada e, hasi zinetenean kursoan edo ze iruditzen uten Euskal Herria, ze iruditzen uten Euskal Herritarrez. Nola nola imaginatzen dituzu edo gaituzu edo ez dakit, ez? Pentsatu ez du herri buruz edo ez edo. Well, nothing but amazing thoughts before I took this course, because like I mentioned, I've been traveling to the Basque country since I was a baby. My first trip there, I was about, I want to say three months old, and I go every summer since. I even did primary school there for a few months. So before taking this course, my vision of the Basque country was nothing but amazing and so special. Um, I really loved how close-knit the community is. That's something that I always seeked out because here in California, I'm from Los Angeles originally, we don't have a very big community of Basque people. So the only Basque community I had at home were, was my mom and I guess my American dad who loves the culture as well. But um, so I guess, yeah, I was, my vision of the Basque country was amazing because I had been so many times and I knew that there was nothing negative to say about it. And I, through learning this, I only learned more positive things, more interesting things about the country. So yeah, I had no bad view of the Basque country. They've always welcomed me with open arms. I mean, my family is Basque as well. So I guess I had to have a positive view of it. Eta bueno, Ikean Pier, hor bota ditugu, utzi ditugu galdera, galdera batzut. Ez dakitzuk ere nola, nola bizi izan duzun, ez, e, ikasgai aukeratzea, eta gero ere zen nolako ba, irudia, ez? E, zen eukan, ez dakit aldatu gote den behin ikasten jarrita, Uh, yeah, I mean, I can identify with a lot of what Elodi said. I agree with a lot of what Elodi said. You know, um, I did have a profound appreciation of my culture before taking this class. I feel like this class is only enhancing my appreciation of the culture. But I can kind of identify with, uh, well, I can definitely identify with what Elodi said about people not knowing where the Basque country is. We are such a profound people, but we are very little known throughout the world. A lot of people have no idea what Basque is if they're not from towns with big bass diaspora such as Bakersfield where I'm from or San Francisco or Boise and so uh my name being Jean-Pierre when I when I tell people my name I go by JP usually uh and then I they say what does that stand this is inevitably the how the conversation goes what's your name JP what does that stand for Jean-Pierre Ooh, are you French so that's a tricky question so if I don't feel like explaining it to them because it can be a lengthy process, I'll say, yeah, I'm French. But usually what I'll say is, well, I'm actually Basque. And so then I try to enlighten them about what Basque is and they go, oh, I had no idea. So it is very exciting to be able to tell people what Basque is. I had a profound appreciation of the Basque country. I feel that I have a strong connection, perhaps not as strong as Elodi. You know, my grandparents were from there, but your mom being there, you definitely have a very strong uh, connection to the Basque country, I can tell. I've been there twice a long time ago. Uh, we have a lot of relatives, cousins over there, first cousins of my parents that live over there. So we stay mm -hmm. 
pretty connected. It's a beautiful place. I have wonderful memories there. I had friends of mine last year, a bunch of friends of mine, friends of mine actually go to a Basque uh, learning camp in Gipuzkoa last year. And so oh, they got the opportunity to do something. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And uh, uh, so when I found out I was able to do something quite similar, but over here, I thought it was pretty cool because I'm getting a similar experience to what they got, except not in the Basque country. But I'm very, I feel very lucky that we have this opportunity outside of, outside of the Basque country to bring um, the greatness and coolness of the Basque culture all over the world. So I'm very happy to be doing this. Aurreko urtean, justo egun hauetan, egon ginen hitz egiten Bakersfieldeko e, gizon batekin deitzen zan e, Dominik eta zan e, e, tipo hau e, jaio zan e, Bakersfielden eta zan euskera irakaslea. Egintzun prozesu guztia eta zan e, Bakersfielden jaiotako e, euskera irakaslea. Eta oso oso politia izan zan guretzako ere, guretzako ere oso gauza politia da. E, ezagutzea eh ba euskal jatorria duten pertsonak eta bar munduan zehar, ez? Porque askotan askotan ez zaigu gertatzen. Osea, nik oso jende gutxi ezagutzen dut euskalduna, euskal herritik kanpo, eta orduan guretzako ere oso oso politia. Eh hori. Eh ni daukat kuriosia bat. Ta eh gaur egungo eh kultura erreferenteak ezagutzen dituz, ezagutzen dituz gustatzen zaizkizu eh euskal musika taldeak ja, jarraitzen dezu aktoreren bat, ez dakit. Ezagutzen dezu zerbait horrela, gustatzen zaizuen zerbait, baina e, pues, euskaldunak... Oben, adibidez. Should I go first? <laughs> um, sure. I guess I'll start. Um, I, other, I don't, like, I know of the culture, I know of the dancing, I know of the music. Do I know how to actually do any of it? Partake in it? No. Um, I would only go for a few months at a time, um, and I still do. Um, now it's mostly weeks at a time. So I never really, as a kid, learned any of the cultural things like dance. My mom did. There's pictures of her doing traditional bass dance as a kid. But um, I, I never spent enough time out there to do anything like like dancing or playing like an instrument. Um, so I, I am aware, very aware of everything because most of what I do every time I go to France, um, mm -hmm. specifically Bayona, we have Bayonaco Bestac, which is um, in uh, English, it's the festivities of Bayonne. And I've been going to that every year since I was a kid. And at least every time I could. And a big, very big part of that is a lot of cultural Basque elements like dance, like singing, music. Um, and so because of that, I do know quite a bit but I've never actually been involved in any of it personally, but I do know it. And I would say that I could be able to identify it if I was, you know, give it a picture or a song. Like I, we do listen to music at home very often. Um, like Aran Sadeak is a very popular one. <laughs> I know my parents like that one a lot, but um, yeah, I would say I know it pretty well. Eta zu, Jean-Pierre, gainera ipatu duzu zure kasuan ere gontzarela e, barnetegi... Bera ez, bere lagun bat. A, bere lagun bat, a, bale. Bai. E, bueno, ez dakit horretan ere eraginik izan ote duen. O sea, erreferentziak eta, eta hori handiagotzen edo ugaritzen. Yeah, so I am uh, I'm a member of the Kern County Bass Club in Bakersfield. I've been involved for most of my life in various things. I've done bass dance. I did bass dancing for a long time. I'm in the clica, the the marching band, Tropetaikin. You know, I play the bugle and the trumpet in the Bakersfield clica. I've sang a little bit. I play a little bit of chislu. So I try to I've tried to dabble in a lot of different things. I love dance. I love music, especially singing. Um, and there's you know, bass music is so beautiful, and there's such a variety too. So uh, I've stayed pretty involved uh, with the Basque culture most of my life. I've tried to, you know, learn Basque just about in every way. I try to branch out in our uh, diverse and uh, very rich culture. And so the Basque Club in Bakersfield has definitely been a wonderful place to do that. We have a tremendous club. We have a tremendous Basque picnic. Uh, we incorporate almost every aspect of Basque uh, culture in our picnics. Uh, in our even and in some of our smaller celebrations throughout the year, Christmas, Easter, so on and so forth. 
you know, this, I played a little bit of handball when I was younger, never got great at it, but uh, I stuck with the music mostly. But uh, I played pilota, I played a little bit of pala, I, you know, like I said, singing and music. So I've dabbled in a lot of that and all of it's so fun and so fulfilling and so great to do. And so a lot of my friends also that went to the Basque Country last summer, they have also been very involved, a lot of them from all over, but San Francisco, Boise, Fresno, Chino, all over California. And they've stayed, like me, very involved with, Basque, with their Basque clubs. And so those of us that live in towns with Basque centers, with Oshkalachea, mm. we're very lucky um, to have what we have. Because as I love said, Basque people really do stick together. And we really make sure that we keep our culture. And it's really beautiful to see the way we do that. And so we're very lucky to have the foundation that those before us left to keep our culture alive in this country and all over the world. It's really astonishing to see. So... I'm very lucky to be involved with uh, the Crunk Country Bass Club. Eh, Jean-Pierre, esan bar dizut, eh, nik baino gauza tradizional gehiago egiten dituzula. <laughs> eh, nik baino gauza tradizional gehiago egiten dituzu, porque eh, nik euskaraz itza egiten dut, eta euskalduna naiz, obviamente, baina eh, agian nago gauza digitaletan gehiago, eta ezat inoiz peleta egin, ezat inoiz e, euskal dantzarik egin, eta e, atentzio itzen dut, eta gustatzen zait, ikustea e, egotea tipo batekin, Kaliforniakoa, e, egiten dituna gauza guzti, oiek. No, I'm sure you're involved in a lot. You know, I think Basque people, Basque people are very humble. I think Basque people don't give themselves credit. I mean, I'm sure you know a little bit of, you know, dancing and singing and everything everybody knows no one likes to give themselves a lot of credit and so uh you know i you're probably just being too humble here but uh i appreciate you saying that though i try to uh i've like i said i've tried to dabble in all the different areas of our bass culture but uh, i haven't done all of them there's a couple that you know i'm trying to improve at mm -hmm. such as bass so you have the upper hand uh of me on that but uh i think all bass people are naturally very involved in their culture and i think uh you know we don't like to brag about it but we all i think care deeply about our basque culture and are involved in our own way yeah. and i think it's very important to note that so but thank well, you for add uh, on to that sorry to cut you off no 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 continue, I, continue yeah i would totally agree but so you're very lucky to be from bakersfield which has a very high population um of the basque culture and so do other places in the u.s like idaho um but there's also like where i'm from i'm from los angeles there is no basque population here and i think that combined with the fact that my family is from france and not the spanish side our culture is so it's not as large and so i think that for me that's why i felt so disconnected from my basque side for so long is because from where i'm from and because of the side of the Basque country that I'm from specifically, I think that's part of the reason why I also didn't partake in dancing, in music, in singing. And I absolutely would have, but um, it's not as big in Los Angeles. I have never met another Basque person there in my life besides my mom. Even here at Santa Barbara, besides my professor, I have never met another Basque person in my life. And if I had been given the opportunity, if I hadn't Ushkwa Chea, I would have totally taken part in that. But because it's so concentrated to just certain areas where there's a lot of Basque people, I didn't have that opportunity, which I feel like I lacked so much from not having that, but I'm catching up now with this class. Nick bai galdetu nahi nun, baina eske ez daukaz ez ikusi gehiago igual, lasai. Ah, vale. Zuk, bota, bota, bota. Ez, e, justo elodik esan duenaren hildotik egin nahi nuen galdera, ez? Ba, pixkat, e, azken finean, e, Euskal Herritik kanpo, etxe pare instituturaren bitartez, badaude Euskal Etxeak eta badaude ere irakurletzak. Adibidez, elodi eta jan pierren irakasleak e, maitan eta iker dira, biak Euskaldunak eta... E, Santa Barbara eta eta UCLA en ba bertako unibertsitatean irakasle dira euskara eta euskal ikasketak, euskara eta euskal kultura eta horrelakoak baina horrelakoak badaudela mundu guztian zehar eta horri esker ba aukera dagoela ere ba euskara e, beste espazioetan ez 
ezagutzeko ba, eta hori kontuan hartuta nire galdera zen baina uste dut ja elodik erantzun duela ez ze zer nolako eragina duen ba zure eremuan edo zure zonaldean e, ba euskal etxe bat egotea edo edo irakurletza bat e, errazten duena ba bertako unibertsitatean edo zuk ikasten duzun unibertsitatean euskara ikasteko edo euskarara hurbiltzeko aukera izatea. Um, I just Yeah, I feel like I have so much catching up to do. Like I like I've said for the longest time when people asked me where I'm from because my name is not very common here either. So when in school, um elementary school most of the time, when my name would be called, people would ask me, "Oh, you know, Elodie, where where is that from?" and I would say France. It is a French name, but um my mother's maiden name is Aldai, which is a Basque last name as well. So I've always just felt, you know, being here specifically in Los Angeles where there's I like I said, I have never met another Basque person here besides my mom and my professor now. <laughs> But in Los Angeles, there the effect of not having that culture is that I felt so disconnected from it for so long of my life. I mean, even my family on my mom's side, they they don't really it's not a big part of who they are either. If you ask them, they'll say that yes, you know, their last name is Basque and they would say that, you know, they are Basque, but they don't really partake in any activities. Um, and so the effect of being in Los Angeles where there is not a big Basque population or culture and being from Bayonne where the Basque culture is also, it, it's bigger obviously than Los Angeles, but compared to like San Sebastián Donostia, it's hmm. not big. And so the effect of that is that for so long I had no connection whatsoever to the Basque country and I wouldn't I would not say that I was Basque but um since taking this class and and learning more I would definitely say that that's who I am now I've had a lot of conversations with my mom about it um where I spoke to her and I said you know your your maiden name is Alday that's a Basque last name and she would be like oh no like I would just identify as French and I was like well mom if if you compared yourself to another French person from Paris you guys would have extraordinary differences in your culture. The French culture is not the same and that's because you're from the Basque country. There's a lot of differences between us. Um, but I guess just being so disconnected from it, it's made a lot of my family feel like they're not Basque or they're not adequate enough to be Basque. And for a long time, I felt that way too. Um, but since taking this course, it's making me learn more and be prouder to be Basque um, and to go every year and to be part of such an amazing place and such a strong and welcoming culture um, with so much history behind it. I'm more proud than ever since taking this class and learning even more about it. Eta pentsatu duzu, edo pentsatu duzu ebiak, bai elodi eta bai jan, Jean Pierre, eh, etortzea. Sí, usted, 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 ¿Jarraitzen dituzu de Euskal Herriko Kirolak? Edo, edo, e, adibidez, ego nintzen aurreko batean itza diten gustatzen zait, e, futbol amerikarra, a ber, izango naiz, zuek baino ez jakinagoa horretan, baina gustatzen zait futbol amerikarra, eta esan ziaten, e, bat gola, boizen, e, boiz esteitek, daukala, bro, dauzkala bronkos, eta hor duan, pues, e, bat gola, bai, bronkos, e, bueno, talia, eta bat gola e, tipo bat, Euskalduna, egiten dula blog bat, Euskaldunentzako, Kontatzen, boiz e, esteiteko bronkosek zer egiten dut, agustu hori eta gustatzen zait. E, Grazia egiten dut, horrek. Orduan, e, baitu ze, Euskaldunek baitu ze e, kirol taldeakan? O sea, bago adibidez, e, afinitatea talde batekiko edo horrela, edo ez, edo? Edo ikusten dezu emango kirol adibidez? Zakit. Jan Pierre? Um, so growing up, um, we've definitely, um, watched or gone to like Pelota 
games. There's a lot of the um, I think it's called a I don't know what it's called. Front I Hi think uh, yeah, high alive, but like where they play it against. Ah, there's a lot of those everywhere. Um, so we would go see those very often as a kid. Um, but it's kind of hard to access. I I don't even know if they broadcast that here in the United States. Yeah, in um, uh, in Orlando and uh, Miami, I think. Oh, yep. well, I've never been, but I do know there's a very big vast population there, but I've never been. So not, I don't think I've seen that in California, at least not in Los Angeles um, or Santa Barbara, but I do follow rugby if we want to count that as a Basque sport. I know it's played very often throughout the European you know, area, but I, that is something that I would say that we definitely do keep up with. Um, at least where my mom is from, everybody there are very, they're very big rugby fans. <laughs> so if you count that, then absolutely yes. Elen galdetu nahi nuen azen e, ikusita ez, pues, e, zenbat gogo dituzun Euskal Herriarekin konexio hori e, e, eratzeko baino ze eratze, eratu ja, ja daukazu eratu eta baina sakontzeko pentsatu duzu e, udan et, egoten zaren egonaldia baino zeo zer luzeago e, egotea ba pixkat Euskal Kulturaz eta Euskal Kulturaz ez naiz e, e, referintzen euskal dantzak bakarrik, bertsoak, eta bar, osea, pixkat, euskal herrian e, denbora pasatzea bai ikusteko nolakoa den euskal herria, eta, eta bueno, ez dakit ja momentu honetan euskararekin nola zabiltzen, baina etorkizun batean e, barnetegi batera animatzen. Um, I have definitely thought about, um, once I finished my undergrad here at Santa Barbara, um, gaining my um, upper, my grad school at anywhere in the Basque country or just abroad. I've specifically thought about the Basque country because I feel most at home there. It really is my second home. So um, it's definitely a very high likely that I will end up somewhere within the Basque country, whether that's Spain or France, to do my grad school for many reasons it's cheaper um and i have a lot of family there and the education that you get for the for the price is amazing <laughs> so and um like i said i really um i don't feel at home anywhere other than the basque country like if i were to stay in paris it wouldn't be the same um so i've definitely thought about um living there potentially and i think that grad school would be the best place to do that because my parents have been urging me to go to grad school um in france since i was born just school in general but i ended up at santa barbara and i am very happy but i've definitely thought about staying abroad longer just to learn more and to experience a whole different way of life because it's very different than here in the united states is jean pierre corain in tundesake Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Yeah. Ba, um, Parca tu. Vale, e igual ori en jumper en galdera bat, porque onda incomunicabilidad. Bai, 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 bai. Ez, justo galetu berri diogu elodiri, hori, pues ikusita, ez, e, enolako konexio berezia duzuen Euskal Herriarekiko, ez bakarrik de, e, ikasten e, Euskararekin eta Euskal Kulturarekin zer ikusia duten ikasketak edo ikasgai bat egiten ari zaretelako unibertsitatean, baizik eta familiako e, kontua delako, pentsatu duzu noiz bait lehen aipatu duzu barnetegi barnetegia, pentsatu duzu zuk etorkizun batean adibidez barnetegira e, animatzea adibidez Ez dakit ezagutzen duzun, baina bere garaian, bazegoen mutil bat, deitzen zela, Dylan, eta bera, e, Inglaterrako, uste dut, Inglaterrakoa zela, eta etortzen zen, udean ere, bus, e, lapurdiko kostara, eta horrela hasi zen, Euskara ikasten. Eta bukatu zuen, YouTubeko kanal bat egiten, Euskaraz. <laughs> ez dakit, o sea, si bas, pixkaz... No le gusta tanto su sur Europa ni más en una va a demorarle luce agua e guitera e torce nadie se lo diga y para todo aquí han pensado en la goela pues una e torce a e intercambio de Erasmus modo co a Tekin 
Certainly. Certainly. I've definitely uh, considered that. I'm open to that. Um, friends of mine also intend to do something like that. The Basque Country is a beautiful place to be, a beautiful place to live. Uh, I know they have tremendous institutions over there. So that's something I would definitely consider in the future. Uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly what sort of career path I want to uh, proceed on, but I'm certainly open to going to the Basque Country to look into how to do that. So I'm open to doing that. I haven't getting, given too much serious thought to too far in the future, but I'm definitely uh, open to that. A friend of mine wants to do, wants to study in France, and he's pretty adamant about that. So I look at options like that, and I consider um, things like that. So certainly that would be a tremendous opportunity to look at doing, and uh, I would be grateful for the opportunity to do that because, as Elodie said, I also feel like I would feel comfortable and at home in the Basque Country with all the family that I have. And just feeling the connection um, to that land that, you know, my ancestors, uh, where my ancestors lived. So uh, I would definitely consider doing that. And uh, Barkatu, uh, I do have class in just a few minutes. So I really thank you for uh, Barkatu, Barkatu. I do want to thank you guys sincerely for this opportunity. And so I'm going to have to get going. But thank you so much. This has been very fun. And I appreciate the opportunity to do this. Milesker zuri gurekin egoteagatik eta zure denboratxo tarte bat ba guri eskaintzagatik. Bai, e, oso oso eskertuak egia esan e, tortzagatik eta e, urrengo gonbiatuak ja bazkago gordan e, lo dio orain e, agurtzen gea zurekin ere eta urrengoak sartzen dia. Agian. Bide bat ez txatean, nire txatean euskarazko horretan bai. esan dute Milesker biei oso oso interesgarria izan dela. Ah, bai, eta orain, e, orain, nahi balen bat zu itzuli nahi bat zuez, e, esan dute ere, haupa Mariela e, oso lan ona aiten nahi zehala. Hori da, hori da. Vale, <laughs> vale, orduan, e, ba, e, e, lo di, e, ba, azken itzak eta bukatzen dugu hemen zuekin izketaldia? Ah, ja. Bai, ez dakit zeu zer gehitu nahiko zenuke, ah, bueno, e, noiz baita animatzen baldin bazara ona etortzera, zu, zu kabixatu, eta dibez, nik iruña erakutsiko dizut, gainera baionarekin e, nola da, an, arremana ondia dauka, asike. Yeah, thank you so much. Um... I guess just thank you for this opportunity of getting to be able to share my culture um, with all of you guys because it's a very interesting situation that I have and that many of us have, like Jean-Pierre. Um, so this opportunity has been amazing. Um, and thank you to my professor for even thinking of putting me here. Um, it's been an honor to get to speak about something that's so important to who I am and um, something that I plan to carry on with me. <laughs> for the rest of my life. So um, I definitely, I'm leaving this summer to go back. I leave in the end of June, so I'll be there. <laughs> um, I don't know about Pamplona or Irunia, I've never been, um, but I do plan to go. Um, I mean, the running of the bulls is something that my dad has spoken about forever. <laughs> so we'll make it out there one day for sure. But thank you guys so much. I really appreciate um, being able to talk to you guys about all of this and for you guys to listen so kindly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.